Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Brother T, a Freemason and cigar enthusiast with VCR, and we got the tapes rolling on another cigar review video for you folks today. Today, we are smoking the Oathkeeper by Stolen Throne. A lot of you folks may be familiar with the Stolen Throne offerings, Crook of the Crown being fantastic, as well as the Call to Arms. Both have been reviewed on this channel. Uh, all three cigars have been blended by Noel Rojas in consultation with Stolen Throne, and spoiler alert, it's fantastic. Every blend from Stolen Throne, and generally it has been my experience that every cigar produced from Noel Rojas has been something for me that my palate has always enjoyed. My initial impressions, it is very much a honey brown wrapper. Uh, there is a slight oil sheen to it, but almost finishes as a matte. It has visible veins, tight visible seams, and a very broad double cap. pre light aroma, sweet hay, Slight cedar, maybe a little bit of an earth quality. Full disclosure, it has been sitting in my humidor uh, for a while, so I think we probably lost a little bit of that potency just through diffusion or otherwise. Uh, so one benefit of having something in cellophane is it usually retains a little bit more of those aromatic notes and it just doesn't get lost to the humidor, for lack of a better turn of phrase. Let's cut and light. Wow. Initial notes, white pepper, wood, slight breadiness, maybe a little bit of a red pepper there, a little heat that's building, draws fantastic, it's thick, creamy. doesn't really coat the mouth starts off fantastic we'll see how it goes all right everybody the pepper that we had at the very beginning was very robust pretty straightforward I remiss a little bit that I didn't mention that it had a semi-closed foot which added a lot I think to that peppery kind of straightforward experience that you have at initial light the peppers by and large are a little bit more of an ancillary note, not so forward on the blend. White pepper is still there. Cream is really starting to come to the front. It's a sweeter cream, there's little bits of leather, slight baking spices. And a wood. It's fantastic so far. We'll take the opportunity just to walk through a little bit of the blend. It uses an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper and it uses Nicaraguan binders and fillers. Now, it's not just Nicaraguan in terms of potential binders and fillers. Uh, they kind of leave that an open point uh, where they say we're disclosing some but not all. So there's probably a little bit more to this blend than just that uh, surface value or that surface evaluation rather. Uh, so something there, a little bit of mystery never killed anybody. All right, all right, all right, everybody. We're getting to that point where we gotta undress this guy, remove the band, and we'll talk about that band. Making one call out on an item, the band is taped on, so it does present quite an issue for some folks that like to take these off and retain them for any purposes, whether they're shadow boxes or otherwise. I've always found it best if you remove it on the ash stack side. Usually when you draw on a cigar, as that moisture gets reabsorbed into the cigar and not only that the moisture creates a friction coefficient there when you try to slip the band over it it usually is a little bit more stubborn if you go over the draw side so I always take it and go to the foot let's see if we can do it on camera without losing the ash oh my gosh if this was a game of operations I would have won alright folks we'll talk about this band a certainly adequate paper stock reasonable print quality it has a linen type texture to the band color palette's pretty straightforward 
It's white, black, red. Notes that I'm getting right now. Wood, cream. Leather, caramel. White pepper still there. It ebbs and flows with regards to really the strength. Of that note more so than the cigar. The cigar I'd bill at a medium plus in terms of overall strength of the smoke. There's a lot of complexity. It's very dynamic. I'm excited. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Time for the cigar wrap up. Flavors we have right now. Cream, cocoa, there's a mineral note there. Wood. Slight baking spice. We've seen that once before. And a nut. Construction, no issues, none to speak of. The closed foot or the semi-closed foot was a great touch. Adds a lot to the smoking experience, so always a fan of that. We'll endorse it 100% of the time. Burn, didn't require any touch-ups at all. You saw the ash stack hold on in a nod to construction, even through the band removal, which was quite a feat, I think, to behold. Ash is held on in greater than one inch increments, continues to do so, even till this point in time. It's just fantastic. The draw, it was like pulling water through a straw, very easy, it was light, it was thick, it was dense, slightly creamy. As far as mouthfeel, I would say that it's slightly drying. Strength, body. It's stronger than you'd think at just first appearance, so I would put it at a medium, maybe even a medium plus uh, body around the same. This is Brother T with VCR Cigars, outside in the not-so-great state of Minnesota, enjoying the 71-degree weather. We smoked the Oath Keeper by Stolen Throne, and as always, smoke them if you got them. <laughs>